What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Just dropped a new episode of the podcast last night. Go ahead and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. Now, today I'm coming to you with my reaction to the New York Mets general manager getting fired for sending explicit text messages to a female reporter. Now, that headline screams out to you, right? And for me, it was like, man, another one of these dudes out here abusing this power, trying to get away with it, but didn't. They ain't need to learn. That's the first thing you think. And then you dive into the story. And ESPN had the exchange, keyword exchange, of text messages between the reporter and the now former GM of the New York Mets. So first thing is, this exchange happened in 2016. So this is four and a half years ago when they had this exchange of text messages. So for me, that part bothers me. So this man was working his way up the ladder. He was at a whole different team back then. Working his way up the ladder, becomes a general manager, right? He hasn't even had the job for maybe you know a month, month and a half. Probably doesn't even have one of those nameplates yet that you put in front of your desk. He just got the job. And then this comes out, right? But they say they did try to reach out to the reporter before or she didn't want to come out. And then once you start reading the text messages, the man isn't guilty of harassment. He's guilty of not taking a hint, right? So the story is they met in the elevator. I guess he shot his shot, got the number. They start texting each other back and forth. For three weeks, three weeks, they're going back and forth. They're vibing, right? And after three weeks, he's like, okay, let me try to take this to the next level. Sends you a picture, just a regular selfie. She sends a selfie back, right? He's like, do you want to see more of me? She laughs. She says, yes. So he sends her, you know, what are you working with? She responds. At this point, if you're not interested and you thought, you know, this was a misunderstanding, I just want to be friends, you say it right then and there. If you say it right then and there and he continues, then you report him because that's sexual harassment. But she continues to go with it, right? And ask if he was married. So you're asking if he's married because you're interested in what you see. He says, nope, with an exclamation point. Saying, I'm single, ready to mingle, let's go. Then she ghosts him. He continues to text. Now, this is where he messed up. He should have took the hint after two, three, four days of not responding. He should have sent a message like, okay, I don't know what's going on. I thought we was vibing. If I went too far, I apologize. No hard feelings. You can text me back if you want. If not, cool. Something to that effect, right? But he kept going, right? And he's definitely wrong for not taking a hint. But she's wrong for not just coming out and saying, I'm not interested. So he continues to send messages and it's explicit stuff for three weeks. Way too long. Way too long. She then finally responds and says, this is inappropriate. I don't want these messages. You know what he did? He stopped. <laughs> it's amazing the communication, what can happen. Now, are there a lot of creeps out here that would have kept going and used their power to abuse it? Yes. But this isn't one of those cases. I feel like his most guilty thing is not taking a hint. Once she said, stop it, he said, I'm sorry. You know, let me know if you need anything work wise and said, I'm sorry. That was the last message. Four and a half years ago, you wait till the man gets his dream job. Bring this up, bring this out, and now he's fired. Now I'm open to dialogue. Am I wrong? Part of me was scared to even share my opinion on this because I know the climate today. And some people may view this video and look at me as, you know, chauvinistic, as somebody who's sexist and all these type of things. And that's not the truth at all. But looking at this particular case, 
I can't look at it and just wag my finger and say that he was so wrong. He made him, he made several mistakes. Like he went on way too long. But she could have been more open to communication, let him know how she was feeling. And it seems like from what happened at the end, he would have been like, cool, I'm done. But she let him on. He didn't take the hint once he was ghosted. But now he's fired for not taking a hint four and a half years ago? Am I wrong? Am I tripping? Please let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, go real or go home.